Good morning, my lovely Pisces. How are you? I pray that all is well with you. I pray that you woke up feeling better or saying today is the best day of my life. And if you up watch me um, and I'm doing this video, we both made it today. Okay. Thank you, dear Lord, for allowing us to all be here. Thank you for all those who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And also, don't forget, today is the full moon, okay? Where I live at, it's cloudy, rainy, and all that. But I get, I got to see it that one day, so I'm glad I did see it. It does not stop me from doing my rituals because I don't see my the moon. I'm doing it regardless, okay? I want to send out a shout out. This is Amy Brown, okay? From North Carolina, okay? From North Carolina. And she sent me this beautiful card, all right? Um, thank you so much for making my world a little more beautiful with your kindness. It really means a lot to me. Just want to send you this little card to express my gratitude for you. I look forward to your continuous pre uh, priceless in my life, okay? Presence in my life. You have made a difference for me, sending you love and, and prosperity and energy and positive energy. Amy Brown. And let me tell you what she her, where is it at? Her daughter sent me this. Is this cute or what? Ain't that cute? That is so cute. Right? And um, her daughter sent me this and she was going to send it by, by itself because she already had the stamp and all. Right? Um, she said, my daughter made this little picture for you. She appreciate the difference and, and, um, the difference and positive change sparked by you in my life. Mom is a lot happier now and I'm done. I do not cry as much. Can you believe it? Cherie Brown. She sent me this little thing here and it is just adorable. I'm going to put a magnet in the back and put it on my refrigerator. So I want to say thank you to Amy Brown and her daughter. Thank you, Amy. I'm going to put that magnet on my back, on, on the back of that, and put it in my, on my refrigerator. So tell your daughter I said thank you so, so much. And Amy, I play a little part in your life. You did this huge transformation on your journey. And I thank you for sending me that card. Like I said, today is the full moon. So please do your rituals. Please do it. Okay. Now, if anybody go to my website and purchase my black magic spell breaker candle, that is, you know, to do breaking up mad black magic or anything somebody's doing to you, or you feel like they're not, you feel like something ain't right. People don't have to do black magic. They can do it in many different ways. Okay? The Abundant Prosperity, Healing, Growth, Wealth, Fertility, and Nature Candle. That's what we all want to be. Right? The Love Yourself Candle is what we need to do. And the Justice Candle is what I burn on my altar 
uh, for um, bringing balance, justice, and fairness, okay? This is my uh, red brick dust, and you see it's full, right? Because I used it that day that I got to see the full moon, which was the day before yesterday. <clears throat> this is my Palo Santo and my sage, and um, today is the day that you need to write on your bay leaf and burn it. All right? Isn't that a cute setup? That's the way it goes. Right? Now, the walnut bath is for you to work on your shadow side. That's what we all need to work on, on our shadow side. The whole world has a shadow side to work. Okay? Uh, I'm sorry, Pisces. This is my oil forms that come in oils and also dry form. Right here. You can put that in anything you want. My jewelry is here, and what you see is the seven chakras. That I wear on me, okay, I wear on me, on my neck, on my ankles, and everything else. I have my, my crystals and my stones. Make sure you read everything before you buy it. To see everything else you can do with it is just more than just what you're doing, okay? And I try to tell you a lot more that you can be doing. As rituals, all right. I do rituals every day. I don't mind. I don't care if it's raining, shining, or snow. Or I don't see the. Here goes my evil eye. If I don't see the sun, it don't matter. I still do the moon. It don't matter. I still do. This is my spiritual detox salt bath, and this is good if you have um problems breathing, bronchitis, and all that. This is good from in and out. If you have a lot of pain, this is what you need. <clears throat> that is case. So I also have herb in a bag. If you don't have um, a tub, you can still use it in the shop. I've been burning the black and white candle, okay? Because the yin and the yang. And I was dreaming about this black and white candle my mother and all was in my dream talking about it. And not a few days ago, I found the red flag. I wasn't even looking for it. I found a white and a black little candle. That, that's what made me really say, I have to do this. I'm looking for the stuff to show y'all if I can find it. I don't know what I did with it. But um, anyway, um, let me see where I'm at. So it's crazy because I wasn't even looking in here, right? And when I opened this up, this is what I found. Black and white candles, all right? And I usually um, have these black candles for any emergency that I have or that I need to cut off for me that is not good for me. That's why I use that. All right? So, it's important that y'all do your ritual. Somebody sent me this. Isn't this cute? A while ago. They sent me that. So, anyway. Um, that's what I got. And I got them out. I'm going to leave them out. What is this pulling? I'm going to leave them out to use them, so I'm going to put them over here in case I ever has to do it. But I, I got big, long candles, so I'm, I'm, that my candles are going to work just fine because I made them just for that. All right, and I've been burning them. The ones I looked at outside, they are burning crystal clear. Thank you, Jesus. All right, so. All right, Pisces, let's get this reading pop in. They say the next day that we're going to see some good weather would be Sunday. And then from then on, it's going to be in the 80s or something. All right. Pisces, let's get popping with this reading. All right. So. All right, Pisces. Here we go. 
Oh my goodness, Pisces. Oh, the moon right now is in Aries. It wasn't Pisces. So now it's in Aries. Aries is all about. It's all about getting that fire popping. Okay, turn that fire on. Let's get that reading pop in. Okay. All right, Michael Jonah Art, please help me do this reading. Tell me what I need to see. Tell me what I need to know. Tell me what I need to see. Tell me what I need to know. Spirits, give me one card. All right, here we go. You got the Nine of Pentacles. The Nine of Pentacles. Um, it looks like somebody here is sitting there enjoying the fruits of your labor. You got a lot of pinnacles on that tree. Okay. Drinking some wine, reading a book, maybe doing journal. Um, you are working hard. Okay. So you've been doing a lot of work on yourself. Um, then you got choices to be made. Choices to be made. Choices maybe in job or you're going to the store to buy some stuff. Uh, but a lot of choices. And we don't know what the choices are, but you can pick anyone you want. But it looks like this lady is looking behind you. So maybe somebody's coming in the door. All right. Now, all these, it seems like you've really been working on getting your money right or that you've been ready to pick, that you're ready to buy or purchase yourself something, and you can pick anything you want. Um, but I feel like somebody just happened to be walking through that door, right? The Nine of Cups is Fulfillment. Something that you been wanted to do or you got, right? Maybe you got a new job or you've been working hard on what you're doing. So it shows here that something over here is popping off for you, right? And you get to pick what you want. And I think that's a good damn thing. You get to pick, right? Um, The journey has... The journey has struck, is rich, struck rich. Again, what is the difference between the seven of pentacles and the nine of pentacles? Okay. I think there is a different quality. Okay, now. To the wealth on display in the nines. Ain't that something? Because you got the seven of cups right after that. Okay? Um, and it says the seven is a garden and the nine is, is, um, is a lady of, um, Desires what you want, right? Now, it's telling us that we can have whatever we want. So you at a point now where you picking, you're sitting there saying, now it's my time to have what I want. Now it's my time to pick what I want. Maybe you was one of the ones that they picked whenever they wanted. But now you get to pick better things coming your way. You get to choose what you want. You sitting there looking out the window, you know, pretty made, dependable, um, well established. All right. Um, 
Enjoy the pleasure that was met for you. You took charge of your own future and, and your own earnings. Okay? Everything you um, worked hard for has bought has bought the fruits of your labor. It's time to allow yourself to to enjoy your abundance. All right, and I know that because right after that, see you 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 work hard for this. You work hard for whatever it is that you're doing or got, or where you're at in your life. But then you get to pick from the cups, seven cups. You can pick any one you want. And it looks to me like you're not picking lower than you. You shouldn't. You're going higher than you. Be like the giraffe. Don't go lower than you because when something happens to you, you don't have everybody there helping you, but they want you to help them. So don't go lower than you ever been. Go higher. All right? Go higher than that. Think bigger than you ever think. Don't settle for less. All right? You get to pick whatever you want. Whatever you want. You get to pick. All right? Um, you, your work has brought you to where you've been. And guess what? The five of pinnacles. Like, you can have everything going on, Pisces. Everything you want. You can be in a good place. But sometimes we want to pick it, the things that are not for us. Or you're doing good and then you sit, somebody, you're in a store and then this person that you haven't talked to or you've been with or whatever, that you know ain't good for you is walking through the door. Right? So you got seven cups. What do you pick? The one that's walking through the door. That never was good for you anyway, right? So what does this person do? They leave you out in the cold with who? Your child or whatever. You got to pick the right cup because if you don't pick the right cup, everything you work for, you're going to go backwards, not forward. Why? Because you choose your heart over, you know, wearing your, your heart on your sleeves. Like, you going, oh, I'm in love and I want this, but I want to be loved. Honey, love is always screwed you, all right? And I don't care how much you try. You don't understand, honey. That's why I'm, I'm have not seen nobody in over almost a year. And this is the best of my life. And this is a different best of my life because this time, it's not like I think about somebody or I want to be with somebody like before. We, I broke up. They're not talking to me. They broke up with me. Whatever it was, it was always a, 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 a messy situation um, of why I'm not with that person. But this time it was different. Because this time I choose to be alone. Because I cannot afford to keep choosing the wrong thing. Because all I think about is love. And all they think about is using me. All right? And playing games. So if you want them people that you, that, that you can work and you're working hard, especially if you got kids. And you want to choose, oh, I want to take care of my, you know, I want to live and do the right thing. And then these people come back into your life and you trying to work it out with them. You're going to be wound up, left out in the cold because you choose with, oh, I need love and I need this, honey. I don't need none of that shit. Not from somebody that's going to love me wrong. Honey, you need to love me more than I would ever love your ass because I'm not doing it. But some people here, some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all if it ain't you, baby. You sound freaking stupid. Okay? Some people want diamond rings. 
but I don't want nothing at all if it ain't you, baby. Honey, some people want your whole everything, but they ain't got shit to give you, right? Because you so in love. You live off of love. Love can't do shit for your ass. Nothing but screw you, all right? But screw you. Did you hear what I said? Love will screw you. Because that's what you want. Because you say, well, I take care of myself. You got to take care of your freaking self. Right? You pay your bills. You do everything on your own. Right? But you feel like I take care of myself. I got everything I take. I take care of myself. The thing is, stop saying you take care of yourself. Stop saying, stop putting that in your head. You take care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself. Because if you don't take care of yourself, who will? Who will? But you constantly tell yourself, I take care of myself. Um, I don't need this and I don't need that. I just need love. Well, it seems like love put your ass out, honey. Love ain't got shit to do with shit. That's what it said. But you don't want nothing but love. So keep trying to look for love. And every time you look for it, you ain't getting it. You ain't getting it. You can search and search and search. Honey, if, if a Pisces have, if a Pisces, there ain't too many Pisces that got a good person in their life. A good person in their life. There ain't too much. But as far as you um, doing good, you're going to make sure you work to pay your bills and everything you got to do for yourself. That's a must. But as far as love, love will screw you so freaking good. You'll think again, why did I do it to myself? So, you know, you got to be in the place in your life where you understand what I'm saying. I said to you, this is the best I ever been because I didn't get dumped by somebody like I normally did. I didn't get used and mistreated by somebody like I normally do. Okay? I'm not a person's sex object like I normally was. It wasn't doing shit for me like they normally did. Okay? But choose this time me over all of that shit I gotta work to take care of myself so it wasn't like I wasn't never doing it right I was doing it I was let these people just come into my life and use me they had nothing to offer me but a dick all right and some of these people need some Viagra to even get their dick on they do good with their damn tongue because they can't do shit with their dicks all right uh, some people got them nice, beautiful dicks that you can't help but to love. Because they work on that ass like nobody else's business. And that's all they do. They work on it. If they, if, if sex could pay you, if if they can they have no money but sex can pay you every time they screw you, you'll be rich. It don't work that way. So you're looking good. You're doing for yourself. And you get to pick anything you want, but then you pick what, what hurts you the most. And then guess what? You get put out. They, they put you out like you ain't trash. Like trash is better than you. You get put out. Left out of the cold because you're trying too hard. All right? You need to stop it. All right? Tell me more about this nine of pinnacles, this self-made woman tell me about this nine of pentacles this self-made person walking away from that eight of cups you got some damn sense you're walking out the door all right and if it ain't you somebody here is walking out the door looking back at everything they had and leaving Leaving that place, whatever place they in. All right. I don't know what it is, Pisces, but self-made woman or self-made person here 
and under it, you go from the nine to the eight. Somebody leaving that, whatever it is, they walking away from it. Like it ain't nothing that matters. All right? They walking away from everything they ever had. And maybe they walking away from you. Or you. Or, or, or you walking away from, from whoever this person is without no regrets. But it seems like you got it all. And somebody is leaving and walking away from something that no longer is serving them. All right? It's not working anymore. All right? The love ain't there no more. All right? Maybe already, maybe this ain't good, you know, and you know it ain't good. But you can't leave it and keep, it's like somebody here is walking away, but then they look back, well, oh God, maybe they regretting it. I don't know. Maybe they regretting it. Maybe they looking back and saying, I regret leaving this dick and I regret leaving all this, you know, this bitch got all this shit. But I got to leave. I don't know who it is. Whether it's you or them. But somebody here is self-made. And I'm, I'm when I say self-made means, I don't mean rich. I mean taking care of your damn self. Okay? Working to take care of yourself. And that's what we all do. But people take advantage of Pisces because they ain't got to participate in helping doing shit but having sex. Or taking you out to eat. And then using your dumb ass and you you think it's all good and dandy. But somebody here is walking away. Okay, but they look back. So they're looking at back at everything they had. And I don't know if it's you or them. Or they're looking back at how they was with you. Or you looking back at how it was with them. And I don't know what the hell. But shit. Like I said, what love's got to do with my bills? All right? What love's got to do with putting food on the table? Uh, what? Putting gas on a tank? What? Right? Love ain't got shit to do with it. And I don't, I don't regret anything that I've ever been through in my life. Uh, because everything that I've ever been into my life has brought me to where I'm at today. And I'm going to say something to y'all. Some of y'all put these men before y'all put your own damn kids. Some of y'all, um... You know, take chances on doing for these men, and they didn't. They, you ain't even got food on the table for your kids, or getting ready to get put the fuck out because you in love with somebody that ain't giving you shit but pleasure. All right, but now somebody is looking back. Okay, are you are you leaving something with regrets? Are they looking back and saying I had it all with you, but now I don't? I don't know. Tell me about this Seven of Cups. The Seven of Cups with the Seven of Pentacles. You can have everything in your life. You get to pick, right? But even with you picking, right? With the six, with, 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 with your feelings, with your emotions, right? Even you pick it, right? You sitting here saying, well, I work and I got everything I want, right? But I'm still frustrated, right? I'm, it's, it's something here that you keep thinking, all right? I, I'm doing good. The chemistry here, you know, I'm doing good. But you go from the seven of perseverance. The seven of cups to the seven of pentacles. All right. Like my heart and my material world. How I feel, my feelings, and my material gain and world. Right. Uh, remember, you still got to work. Because if you don't work, they ain't going to take care of your ass. Just remember that. If you don't remember shit. All right. Elevation. Reviewing. A long-term progress. It's time to review your plan and progress. Take a look at how far you come and what options are available for your improvement. 
try not to be overwhelmed by your results, but use them as an advantage to level up. So you get to choose anything you want. Anything you want. All right? But review everything before you choose what you want. Right? Look back at how far you come because I feel like you're walking away from somebody or something. You self-made, that means you take care of yourself. Right? And you get to choose with the cups. Anything is in your face. But you need to review everything. You need to tell yourself, look, I come forward to be looking back at trash. All right? I come forward to make the wrong choice. Right? What has this lesson taught you when you walked away from something that no longer deserved you, was not giving you shit, right? Not helping you by no means, but wasn't have a good time with you. Some people have it all, but I have nothing at all if it ain't you, baby. If I ain't got you, baby. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't, you better think about what I'm saying. Are you crazy? Alicia Key need to poke herself in the eye for singing that damn song. Fuck that bullshit. Alicia Key, go rewrite your song over. It ain't about all that. I don't give a fuck. I'm not, no, I can't take care of nobody. I will put you in a corner on a curb next to the rest of my trash to be collected. If I'm going to be working my ass off, ain't getting shit back from nobody, especially people I lay with, if I lay with them, because I don't, because I'm not going to let nobody abuse my body ever again. And you walk away, but then you look back at, at what it was. It ain't nothing to look back because you never had shit with that person. Right? But then you get to pick anything you want. And you must be careful what you pick. It's a lot of choices. And remember that lady keep looking back. So please don't choose the wrong choice. And here you got everything. And it's telling you sit down and review how far you come to get to where you are at. Take note of it. Right? And see. And see what you learn. Right? And learn from it so it can elevate you to the next step. To your next step. Alright? To your next step. You don't need to be left out in the cold because you make the wrong decisions. Right? Because you can pick it all, but if you don't take view of how far you come and you want somebody back, you need to think about it. Okay, it's like you're feeling like you're being left out in the cold. Somebody is uh, the four pinnacles keep working behind closed doors, ain't telling you shit. Probably close the door and say, don't come here. I can't help you. I have nothing to give you. And then what you do, the ten of cups. Right? They're going to put your ass out. They're going to keep money and, and business to their stuff they don't want you to know about, right? But then this person comes back and it's like you, they want you and they leave you. They want you and they leave you. And you fall for this dumb shit because for some reason you feel like it's hope here. It ain't no damn hope. The, if the person is saying, treat you like shit and then they want to pick you up whenever they want to, can't help you with anything, nothing, all right? Keep talking shit to you. And you know how far you come, but you keep looking back, talking about we can fix this. They put your ass out till you get the fuck out. I can't help you. Just fuck you. And that's all you're good for. Right? Talk shit to you. Right? Um, but behind closed doors, honey, this person is real sneaky, very conniving, holding shit to themselves. Got all these locks and keys on their door. They making sure your ass don't come back. 
They making sure you have no reason to come back. They want to change your life. See, this, this person put your ass out. Left you out in the cold with kids. Some of y'all got, you know, had to battle a situation here. But you looking at it like, you looking at it like, you no matter what, you still want this person. This person it has nothing for you. And you need to review what you've been through, where you're going, and that you still take got to take care of yourself. And that's what you need to think about. All right, because everything you ever wanted with this person, and as far as you coming and how hard you work, this person don't give a flying fuck. They will put your ass out, right? This remind me of where you can live with somebody, you can make sure they live good, you can you can move in with somebody in somebody's house or whatever it is, or you barely surviving with while you living. But then somebody come and asks you, "Let can I borrow your rent money or can I borrow the food money or can I borrow the kids money for their lunch? And then you need them and then they don't give you shit. They just leave your ass out like you not worth shit. But if somebody here that no lie feel like they done got put the fuck out or somebody telling you to leave, they don't want you, but you still feel like it's hope here. Baby, please review yourself. Take inventory of you and how far you come and how they was not there. All right? You better take it because for some reason, if you still asking questions about somebody mistreating you and you still ask questions about that person, right? That means you still want them back. You're still concerned about them, right? You have not fully gotten over a person. You're willing to be left out in the cold. You're willing to be mistreated. You're willing to this person use your gift because you still feel like it's hope there. You can play games with yourself and be, it's, it's crazy to me. But it's telling you, review how far you come. Review how they Trash your ass how they told you to leave, how they don't want to do right by you. Review everything because you come far by yourself. You can fix somebody's house and they can say move in. You can fix everything about the house to make it feel homely for you too. And them motherfuckers say after you've done everything for them, get the fuck out. I don't want you. I don't need you. Thank you for your help. Put your ass right the fuck out. Right? You could have gave somebody everything you had. And now they putting you out like you trash. And they been hiding shit from you. Right? They got all. They want to change your locks on the door. They want to make sure you don't come back. But you still got hope for this to work. It's crazy. Tell me more. Tell me more about this. Eight of cups. Walking away. Tell me more. Somebody just... Walking away, honey. Tell me more. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Tell me more, spirits. Tell me more about this Eight of Cups. Tell me the story. There's a death. An ending. That's why it's like you you, you got to... You have to leave a person. You have to end a relationship. Or they ended it with you. They ended it with you. Or you have to leave. Or huh, some of y'all don't have a choice because they put your ass out. How the hell are you still living somewhere when somebody don't want you? Some people, some men tell a woman, get the fuck out. I don't want you, you, tra you trash. I'm not going to do shit for you. Get the fuck out of here. Take all your shit. And you still tell me, well, I don't have nowhere to go. I just gave him all my money and help him do this. I have nowhere to go. And you just sit in somebody's house knowing good and damn well, they don't want you there. Some of y'all been through this with the same person over and over and over. It's crazy, all right? But it seems like I got to go. I got to leave this. Moving out. They, they told you get the fuck out. Like there's an ending to this. Or was. Because it's already happened, right? A death. A getting out. A rebirth. Once you leave, even if you leave with the clothes on your back and one suitcase, 
Um, wherever you're going, it's better than where you was, right? It's better than where you was. And you get to pick after that because you're struggling again. We start all over, all right? But then it's telling you, you need to review and know everything you've been through and how far you come. Why would you want to go back to setting yourself up? Because you feel like, oh, this, I just need this. I just need this, right? Again, again, Pisces, the card that I seen was you need to get rest. You need to really think this through. What you really want to do, you need to put your heart on the side and really think about what you do. Don't get your feelings involved with this shit, right? Remember, you get to pick now what you want, but if you get your feelings involved, you're really not giving yourself the opportunity to grow because you, you still got to live. You still got to take care of yourself, but you, you still think about this situation. It ain't even worth shit, right? Nothing. Okay. You, you can't control the will, right? You got to go with the flow. Don't try to control the situation. But you need to move forward. Again, it's telling you, look how far you come. You don't need to control none of this. Because whatever it is, is going to be. And that's that's the thing that stays in my head. Whatever is meant for me will be. And I cannot control what the universe has for me. But one thing I do know is I need to control the bullshit that I've been through in my life. Because if I can say, I'm not going to go back to this. I don't want to date these kind of people. I can smell shit coming. I can smell that, that, that skunk. Okay? I know the devil is there. And I know I'm always tempted by the devil. But I ask God to take the feelings that I have for what is not for me. Not to put me in a place where I don't need to be. Right? And that's what it's saying. You, you can't control this. And then what happens is you walk away. And this is the good thing. You got the ten of swords. Yes, this hurts. It hurts a lot. But you got to keep moving. Yes, you've been through a lot. Right? You're looking at yourself like I have. I have so much that I can pick from, right? But, but, now is the time for me to set my heart aside, get some rest, and see everything for what it really is. Because I cannot turn time back, and I don't want to. I don't want to go back to where I was. I cannot stop time, and I don't want to stop time. Why would I want to stop time? I already learned the lessons. I already reviewed it. I can see what it was. It wasn't for me. Okay, it was for them. It wasn't for you. It was for them. Who was benefit from it? Not you. They was. Who they took advantage of? You. Right? Did you take advantage of them? No, but they damn sure did you. And so it's telling you get to pick and you got anything you want, but you need to take rest and stop. Trying to make it be or not. It's like you're stressing, but you need to put your heart on the side and see it for what it really is. See the person or the thing for what it is. And stop trying to control a situation because you can't. Because every time you control it, you ain't stopping it. You're going to be doing the same thing you did before because you're not listening. You're not listening, right? And when you don't listen, that's what happened. You go back into what you already been doing. Because you know what? You're not listening. Okay? You're not listening. You're not taking notes of how far you come. And when you don't take notes of how far you come, you're going to keep going through the same thing over and over and over until you learn. All right? And this ain't easy. You've been hurt. It's not easy. You've been left like you like you didn't even matter. 
but you need to review how far you come. That's what you need to remember, right? Tell me more about this being left out of the cold. Somebody's putting all these locks on the door to keep you out and keep telling you, but you feel like, oh, it's still hope here. We still got hope, okay? Okay, Pisces, you still got hope for this. Even though you get trash, you still got hope, right? Okay. You get the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. Right? There is hope. You get everything. But look at this. Look at this, Pisces. You've been left out in the cold. You've been left out in the cold. You was damn near homeless or you homeless or whatever. Somebody just wants you to get out. Right? Like you ain't shit. Right? But, and they hiding everything. Behind closed door, they doing their math, doing receipts, adding up receipts, all that shit. They don't want you to see everything that's really going on, right? They do not want you to see that they doing some math back there. They they want to keep everything under lock and key. They, they've been hush-hush about this, right? But then, okay, so... There's a rainbow. I still, it's still hope there. Right? Again, well, maybe I'll, I'll just be nice to Pisces and, you know, start all over again. Or, But, I don't know what to tell you, Pisces. I cannot, I don't know how you live like this. I don't know how you can gamble with your own life and put your life in somebody else's hand and they making decisions for you where you can go, when you can come. You living in eggshells. You don't know from one day to the next. Are they going to be happy today? Are they not? You know, you, you keep saying, I go to church and God before all. And this is, it's like you praying to God for the devil. You, it's like you, but I put so much time in, and this is all. This is all I can do. This is all. This is your worth. If you learn, because somebody is hiding everything from you, money, business, receipts, everything from you. But for some reason, you keep making excuses, and you keep going back because. I have love here, and I can have it all, but you're right. Some people want it all, but I don't want nothing at all. If it ain't you, baby, if I ain't got you, baby, you better listen to that song, baby. And Alicia Key, you need to grow the fuck up, okay? Right? Please grow up, because some of these songs... Don't make no damn sense. All right? It don't make no damn sense. All right? Bag and bag like Keith Sweat. Alicia Key and Keith Sweat need to be together. Two beggars. All right? It's in the world, honey. You see Beyonce with Jay-Z selling her soul to the devil. Okay? Can do, it's doing good and will always do good by herself. Okay? That's the way it go. That's the way it go. All right? Princess Diana, look. Look at her. Look what happened to her. Right? This is the, the crazy stuff that happens. Because love is everything. And we rather have people walk on us, shit on us, stop on us, stab us, leave us for dead because we don't understand how to get over a person. You better watch it because this person is good for telling you to get the fuck out. 
I don't need you. I don't want you. Or, or go show ass. But I put too, too much time and that's my baby daddy. And I need to work it out. I, okay, well then that's on you. But because you think, you know, all right. And the thing is, this is crazy. There is hope here. That's what you think. But who's the one holding the big pinnacles? It ain't them. It's you. Look at that pinnacles and look at yours. You got somebody ain't got shit to give you, but you think they loyal to you. They love you. Ain't got shit for you but a piece of dick on a, on a bun. So you got the um, hot dog bun, and they got the hot dog, and that's all they got for your ass. But you content with that dumb stuff, and that's on you. That's your business, honey. All right? Like it says, you need to take the view of how far you come, and you need to look at and stop um, um, what you're doing. It's like you feel like um, you walk, but then you look back because it's like I need to look back at everything. And what is everything? What is everything? Because they looking at you like shit. What? This person got choices like you. And guess what? You 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 one of their choices. The, the um the play out choice. You the play out choice. Why they got other choices. <laughs> but you the play. It's like when this person trashes you and want to feel make you feel like you're not even in their life, you feeling that. But then when they come back and, and look for you, it's like that's important to you. So you take them back and sit back to the same old shit, the same old, let's let's draw the drawing board. Let's go back to the drawing board. But who's at the drawing board is you because they're going to do the same shit over and over to you until you learn a lesson. All right. Take the view of how far you come. Look at yourself for, you know, you're worthy more than what you give yourself. You know, like, you don't give yourself enough credit. You are so much worthy than what you think you are. All right? In your own life. But you want to be worthy in somebody else's world. And they don't look at you like that. And that's the part you can't get. All right? They sitting there behind locked doors. What receipts, what money, shit that you don't even know about. But you think that you got it all with this person and you know you don't because they treat you like you don't. But you don't want to believe it. All right, Pisces, I love you. I'll talk to you later. Get a reading for anybody you want. This is a general reading, not a, pri pri a, a personal reading. If it don't fit, don't make it fit. And if it's for you, please look at how far you come in your worth. Because this, this person is not worthy of you. All right? Bye-bye.